even start. I have a song to sing to you. We are so sure the same thing. So clap and sing along and while we are inside, I'm going to read a book to you. This is my third book. It is called The Scary Cats. It is by Barbara Butler. And the pictures are by Victoria Chess. This is a really good book. The Scary Cats. There's a note that I don't. I'm not going to read you all the notes because most of our books have been so. <gasps> They look scared. Let's see what happens in this book. What? <laughs> oh, sorry. Mr. and Mrs. Scaredy Cat woke up ship. So cold, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. But I am scared of closing the window. It may fall on my fingers. They will turn blue. <gasps> oh no. I see what you mean. You have to be careful, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. All kinds of things can happen. So Mr. and Mrs. Scaredy Cat shivered all. Oh my Let us wake up, baby scaredy cat, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. You wake her, said Miss, Mr. Scaredy Cat. If I wake her, she may be too surprised. I'm scared she will jump out of bed and knock me over. So they let baby scaredy cat sleep, and they... Scared and cold. The sun came up and shone right into Baby Scaredy Cat's eyes. And she woke up. Let me find my new dress, he said. It's so pretty and clean. But if you wear it, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat, it might get a stain that will not come out. So Baby Scaredy Cat stayed in her pajamas. It's not fair. The scaredy cats went into the kitchen. I would like eggs, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. But when I cook the eggs, the pan gets so hot, too hot, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. I'm scared I will burn myself. I understand, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. You have to be careful. All kinds of things can happen. Perhaps we should go into town for breakfast, said Baby Scaredy Cat. That would be lovely, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. But then we have to go inside the car, and the car goes so fast. And when it goes very fast, I am scared, so I don't think that is such a good idea. So the scaredy cats were scared and cold and hungry. Didn't eat breakfast. I would be hungry if I didn't eat breakfast. I know, said baby scaredy cat. We could play. You could bounce me into the air and catch me my way down. Baby scaredy cat, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. What if I throw you so high that I cannot catch you? I would worry and worry. So the scaredy cat sat around without anything to do. Now they were scared and cold and bored. There was a knock at the door. <gasps> Who is it? asked the scaredy cats. It's the postman said the voice. It's the postman, said the voice. What do you want? asked Mr. Scaredy Cat. I have a package for the Scaredy Cats, he said. 
The scaredy cats looked at each other. This is so exciting, said Baby Scaredy Cat. Maybe it is a dress, said Mr. Scare Mrs. Scaredy Cat. Or candied apples, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. Or toys, said Baby Scaredy Cat. Please sign here, said the postman. But what if the package is packed with foam and it flies all over the living room, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. Then I will be mad. Or what if the package has shoes instead of candy, uh, candied apples, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. Then I will be mad. And what if the package is full of broken toys, of toys that are broken? said Mr. and Mrs. Scaredy Cat. To Baby Scaredy Cat. Then you will be mad too. Mr. and Mrs. Scaredy Cat told the postman to keep his package. So the Scaredy Cats were scared and cold and hungry and bored and mad. Mr. Scaredy Cat opened a book. Will you please read to us? asked Baby Scaredy Cat. But what if is, what if I do not like the story, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. Or what if it goes on too long? What if I get too tired to keep going? said Mr. Scaredy Cat. Better not to begin. I understand, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. You have to be careful. All kinds of things can happen. So now the Scaredy Cats were scared and cold and hungry and bored and mad and disappointed. The telephone rang. Who could it be? said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. Could it be Grandma? said Baby Scaredy Cat. Could it be... Yeah. Or Grandpa? Could, could it be... Gran... Oh, sorry. It's okay. Could it be Grandpa? said Baby Scaredy Cat. Or Grandma? It could be, said Mr. Scaredy Cat, but if it is not, this is the landlord, and he wants the rent. He will yell at us, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat, so they did not pick up the phone. So now the Scaredy Cats are scared and cold and hungry and bored and mad and disappointed and worried. Mm. Since there was nothing to do, the scaredy cats sat together, doing nothing, until the sun began to go down. Began to go down. I love sunsets, said Baby Scaredy Cat. Let's all go outside and watch. But what if the sun is too bright and it hurt, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat, and it hurts my eyes. And what if it takes too long and I fall asleep? said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. So now the Scaredy Cats were scared and cold and hungry and bored and mad and disappointed and worried and left out. It's bedtime, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. Time to say goodnight. It may be bedtime, says said Mr. Scaredy Cat. But what if I can't fall asleep? Or what if I have a bad dream? What if I stay up and worry, said Baby Scaredy Cat. I will worry that tomorrow I will be scared 
and cold and hungry and bored and mad and disappointed and worried and left out and tired just like today. Oh no! What can we do? asked Mrs. Scaredy Cat and Mr. Scaredy Cat. Mama, Papa, said Baby Scaredy Cat. I know we have to be careful, but if all kinds of things can happen, can good things happen too? Well, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. Well, said Mrs. Scaredy Cat. Well, said Baby Scaredy Cat. Well, maybe, said Mr. and Mrs. Scaredy Cat, then tomorrow we could get the package from the postman and I will untie the ribbon, said Baby Scaredy Cat. Well, if you untie the ribbon, ribbons, I... S Perhaps I could open it up, said Mr. Scaredy Cat. Well, if you open it up, I suppose I could see what's inside. Oh, baby Scaredy Cat, what a clever baby you are. And without thinking, Mama Scaredy Cat yawned. I don't think you can be a baby if you can talk. Maybe a toddler. Maybe, maybe they're just used to calling it baby. Yeah. And yawn is a hard thing to resist. So the scaredy cats fell asleep. And one by one. They each dreamed of being brave tomorrow. That is the end of this book. <laughs> I think that this book is really good for right now because it's okay to be scared. It's okay to be scared. That's completely fine. But sometimes you need to face your fears and sometimes it's the little things like, huh, oh no, we do not have carrots anymore. This is so scary. Like, maybe you're scared of bugs. That's fine. I'm scared of bugs. If you see a bug, maybe try to calm down, try to relax about it. It's good to be scared of them, but don't, maybe don't freak out. And... And what I really liked about it is that the whole family helped each other. Yeah, and they they all helped each other. They were all just trying to be careful, and you do need to be careful, but don't go over the top careful, because like some people bought all the toilet paper, which is okay. They were sort of freaking out, but some people like us. We actually need toilet paper. So at some places, they have to limit things. Um, and a lot of people are really scared, and that's fine. So I want to say good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.